In the previous video, we looked at how to draw an, a parabola if you were given an equation. In this example, or in this video, we are going to look at how to find the equation if we are given the graph. For a parabola, there is only two ways to do this. And those two ways are listed as follows. We have the turning point method and the x-intercept method. The turning point method is when you have been given the turning point of the graph. This method also requires that an, any other point is given besides the turning point. So let's see how this technique works. We know from the previous video that the general layout of a parabola usually takes on the form as shown below, where A represents whether the graph is happy or sad, and also shows tells us whether or how wide or how narrow the graph is. For example, it could look something like that, or it could be something wider like that. The P part tells us whether the graph has been shifted to the left or to the right, and the Q tells us whether the graph has been shifted up or down. So to determine the shifts of this graph, we need to remember that original an original parabola always starts at the coordinates of 0, 0 for the turning point. This graph's turning points are at 3 and minus 2, which implies that the graph has been shifted 3 units to the right and 2 units down. That then means that in this bracket over here, it should say x minus 3, which shows a shift to the right, and then q would have to say minus 2, because it has been shifted 2 units down. Therefore, we can say that we can now find a by substituting any other value that you can see on the graph. Please note that you can't use the 3 and the minus 2 again because they have already been used. We can therefore substitute the 5 and the 10, where the 5 will go in the place of x and the 10 will go in the place of y. We can then simplify all of this as follows. And if you then had to carry on and solve for a, you would get an answer of 3. The equation of this parabola could then be written as y is equal to 3 bracket x minus 3 squared minus 2. Now many times the question is going to ask you to find the equation of the parabola in the following form. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Please note that to get from the form that we have currently obtained to the required form, it is simply a matter of multiplying out and then you can see what your a, b and c values would be. We're now going to look at the x-intercept method. On the right hand side of the page under the x-intercept method tab, we can see that we have a parabola. If we look a little bit closer, we can see that we have also been given two x-intercepts as well as one extra point. So there we have the two x-intercepts and one extra point. I'd like to quickly ask you something. If you were to solve the following equations, then what would your answers be? Well, we know that the answers would be x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 2. And those two answers would be your x-intercepts. So the trick is, is that if we've been given the x-intercepts of a graph, then we can rewrite it as an equation using brackets. And so the standard form that you should use when you have the x-intercepts is given as follows. y is equal to a x minus x1 x minus x2. Remember that a is always there for both the turning point method and the x-intercept method. The a's feature is just to tell us how wide or narrow the graph is. So if you know that the two x-intercepts are 1 and 3, well then obviously in bracket form that means it would look as follows. Because you could imagine if you had to solve this equation that I've just written out, you would make y equal to 0, 
the a wouldn't really matter and your two answers would be x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. And so all that is needed now is to substitute the 6 and the 4 into this equation in the place of x and y to be able to work out the value of a. You could then solve for a and you would get an answer of, you could then take that value of a and substitute it back into the equation that is highlighted or that has got a black box around it as follows. And then you could technically stop right over there and that would be your equation. But many times the question is going to ask you to find the equation of the parabola using the form that we saw in the previous example, which will be given below. And so to obtain that form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, you could simply multiply out the two or all of these brackets and you would have your final answer in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. The main point that I would like you to understand is that it is not possible to get the graph or get the equation using the y equals ax squared plus bx plus c equation in the first place. You can only use either the turning point form or you can use the x-intercept form. Both of those can be used to obtain the y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c form. Please note that you should choose the one that depicts the information that has been given to you. If you have been given the turning point, use the turning point one. If you've been given the x-intercept one, then use the x-intercepts. We will now go on to some examples. From the parabola given, we can see that the x-intercepts have been given, and so we are going to start off by using the x-intercept layout of the parabola. We know that the x-intercepts are 1 and 3. So in bracket form, that would have to be x minus 1 and x minus 3. Our next step is to try and obtain the value of a. And to do that, we substitute any other point. There we have been given a point 4 and 6. So we can substitute it into the place of x and y. You could then solve for a. And in doing so, you would find out that the value of a is. We could then substitute that value of a back into the equation that we have. There we can see that the value of a, which was originally unknown, has now been filled in. Notice that the, val the letter for x and y does not get filled in because in your final equation there will always be a y and there will be x's. The only things that we had to find in the original layout of the equation was a, x1 and x2 which has now been done. However we are not finished because the question has asked us to find the equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and so what we need to do is multiply all of this out. So what we can do is leave the 2 on the outside and multiply the two brackets together. We could then multiply the 2 into the brackets to get the final answer of and at that point the question is complete. The next parabola has a turning point that has been given and so we will go straight to the turning point form of a parabola which is given as follows. We can see that this parabola has been shifted three units to the right, two units down and so you would want the inside bracket to say either x plus 3 or x minus 3. Remember that x minus 3 means the graph has moved to the right and x plus 3 would mean, it's m m would mean that it's moved to the left. So of course we would want ours to say x minus 3. And then with regards to the, hor the vertical shift, we can see that this graph has moved two units down. And so we can fill in the value of p and q as follows. We now need to find the value of a and we do that by substituting any other point that we have, which is the 10 and the 5. You could then solve for a and when you solve for a, you're going to get an answer of, you could then plug that 3 back into the equation. You would then have to multiply everything out to write to get the equation in the form that they have asked in the question. And so the first step we could do is multiply out the two, the two brackets. We can then multiply the 3 into the bracket and simplify. And that is the end of the question.
in the next example, we can see that the x-intercepts have been given. And so straight away, we will go to the x-intercept formula. If the numbers minus 3 and 2 are your x-intercepts, well then in bracket form, it would have to say the following. And then another point on the graph would have to be substituted into the place of x and y in order to find the value of a. So we can substitute the point 1 and 8. We could then simplify each of the brackets, which could then be rewritten as, and then you could get a by itself by dividing by negative 4. And we would end up with a value of a as minus 2. We would then plug this back into the place of a, and we are then in a position to multiply the two brackets together, and then to put the minus 2 into that bracket afterwards. And that would be your final answer. We will now move to the last question for this video. In this example, the turning point of the parabola has been given, and so we will use the turning point form. We can see that this parabola has been shifted two units to the left and four units down. So would we want the brackets to say x plus 2 or x minus 2 at this point over here? Well, remember, when we shift to the left, then we actually say plus. And so we can fill in the value of q and p as follows. We would then find a by substituting any other point that we can find on our graph, which would be the minus 3 and the minus 2. We could then simplify slightly, which then just becomes minus 2 equals to a minus 4, because the minus 1 squared is simply equal to 1, and so we can ignore that. If we then move the minus 4 over, we then get an answer of a is equal to 2. We then have to substitute that value of a back into the correct place, multiply everything out to get the final answer. We could then multiply out the two brackets, can then multiply the two into the brackets and simplify. And so if you do that, you're going to end up with a final answer of 2x squared plus 8x plus 4. And that is the end of this video.